Hello friends, myself Anil Kumar Singh. In this video, I will explain how to convert time domain signal into frequency domain signal in MATLAB. Just right click on MATLAB tool and click on open. I have already explained how to generate the sinusoidal signal. In this video, I will I will explain how to convert this sinusoidal time domain signal to frequency domain signal. Okay. See, here I already coded a 50 of sinusoidal signal. Just double click on this MATLAB file. This file will be open in the text editor. Okay. I will explain all these lines, all these codes line by line. Okay. This first section, CLC, close all, clear all. These three commands will clear the workspace file, workspace, and command window. Okay. You can see here. all these are uh, clear only. In second section, I have, generated, I have defined the signal parameters. This one is signal parameters. Signal parameters. Signal parameter means what is the sampling frequency of the signal? What is signal frequency? What is the sampling time? How many FFT point want to compute the FFT? required for uh, computing the FFT and time vector. Time vector is, I have defined here 0 to a 50 point, uh, number of a 50 point sample and each sample having sample time of TS, sampling time. Okay. In this way, define all parameters required for signal and FFT. Okay. I am defining, see here, there are two frequency fm1 and fm2 i am generating mixed signal of signal f1 and f2 it means i am adding these two signal and i am generating third new signal that is the mixed signal of this f1 and f2 then i will compute fft on this mixed signal okay see here i have defined signal generation signal having frequency m1t i have already explained in the first video if you have not watched the first video please watch uh, how to generate the sinusoidal signal then watch this video how to uh, i have already here uh, i have written here how to generate the sine signal having free, uh, having frequency fm1 and similarly how to generate sine signal having frequency of fm2 there are two different signal having different frequency. In next section, in this section, I have added these two signals and x1 underscore t plus x2 underscore t. Then I have assigned two yt variable. yt is sum of x1 and x2. Okay. Now, this section is fast Fourier transform. In this section, I am converting this time domain signal to frequency domain signal. So, I will explain a little bit about FFT, fast Fourier transform. This one is basically fast way to compute DFT, discrete Fourier transform. So, here, how to compute FFT? MATLAB provides FFT function. This one is FFT is the keyword, MATLAB function. In this function, I am passing signal y underscore t. This one is the mixed signal of fm1 and fm2. And also I am passing nfft, fft point. Okay. There are two arguments of this function. So I am calling this fft function and passing these two arguments to compute fft. So 
once after a fifty just i am shifting a fifty shift this is the fifty shift function to shift the fifty by n fifty by two point okay and assign to shift fifty out how uh, how fifty shift function will work just i will uh, also some images How a fifty shift will work? See, this one is a fifty shift. See here, a fifty point is n. Whatever I have defined there, a fifty point is n f fifty. Here, uh, here that is denoted by n. So zero to n minus one. This is the f fifty point. From zero to n by two, that is represent the positive frequency. After n by two to n minus one, that uh, represent the negative frequency. So, a fifty shift, what it will do? Just uh, shifting this negative frequency to left side below DC. So, see here DC and above DC. This is the positive frequency. A fifty shift function, what it will do? Just shift this value. to left side of dc so this is the fft shift output you can also see in uh, spectrum see 0 to n minus 1 delta f, f is the frequency resolution it means two consecutive frequency gap frequency resolution so here blue color this is the positive frequency and n by two, after n by 2 delta f that is the negative frequency represented by orange color that uh, when passing through the fft function the fft function will do like this whatever the positive frequency keep at it keep as it is and shift the negative frequency left to the dc this is the fft shift output okay in this way the fft shift function will work okay so if i have shifted a 50 output will be assigned to this variable and also i have defined the axis level a uh, 50 uh, x le x axis level x axis is the in a 50 domain frequency domain x axis is the frequency y axis is the magnitude level okay the spectrum magnitude so need to define x axis So I have defined here minus n f f t by two to n f f t by two minus one because of f f t shift whatever the n f f t point by two above value I have shifted to left side that's why the this vector look like this minus n by two two plus minus n by two to n by two minus one okay. And just I multiplied with frequency resolution. This one is frequency resolution. F S by F F T point. Okay, F F T point already defined here. One zero two four. You can define uh, F F T point is one zero two four. F F T point should be power of two. Okay, so here F F T point is one zero two four is nothing but two to the power ten. So this one is a power of two. Okay, in this way, I have uh, I have computed a fifty and x level, uh, uh, x axis level of the frequency domain. Just I have plotted here. Just see, plot x axis level is the n value, which is frequency, and y axis level is the shift a fifty out. That is the shifted a fifty output, and I am plotting absolute value, ma magnitude level. Okay. So I am marked as title first Fourier transform of sinusoidal signal, and x level I am marked as negative and positive frequency in hertz, and y level marked as magnitude of DFT. Okay, 
just I am running the simulation so that we can uh, see the waveform and we can uh, analyze the time domain signal and the frequency domain signal. Just click on run and see. I have, uh, I have generated four signal in four different window. See figure one. Figure one is just I am uh, reducing the size of the image. Figure one, figure two, just see. This one is the X1 signal, this one is the X2 signal, X2 signal is in frequency 200 Hz, X1 signal is in frequency of 1 Hz, so 1 cycle only, we have 200 cycles and I'm, I have added these two signal to generate the mixed signal which is sum of X1 and X2 and uh, this is look like this, this is the time domain signal actually, here time axis represent, uh, I have a uh, plotted for one second only okay uh, sorry I have plotted for uh, one zero two for sample okay and y axis is the amplitude in linear value so this is the time domain signal need to per uh, in this video I am performing this FFT I am converting this time domain signal to frequency domain signal this is the FFT spectrum look like okay so in this signal there are two frequency what are the frequency 1 hertz and 200 hertz so you can see here what are the frequency i have defined here just see one second sorry fm1 is 1 kilohertz and 400 kilohertz so you, you can see we can see this frequency in frequency domain easily see just expand it and zoom it you can see the frequency what are all the frequency in the mixed signal see here 1000 hertz means 1 kilohertz one frequency is 1 kilohertz and another one is four hundred kilohertz see 10 to the power 5 it means there are four here four here ten to the power five five means four hundred kilohertz. So whatever I have defined uh, the signal x one and x two and mixed signal of x one and x two that we can see all the frequency by plotting the by doing the FFT. Okay. In this way we can compute time domain signal to frequency domain signal. And we can analyze easily what are all the frequency in the time domain signal. Okay. Thank you so much for watching my video. In next video, I will perform a 50 fast Fourier transform of noisy signal. It means noisy time domain signal to frequency domain signal. And we can analyze what are all the frequency in the time domain signal. Okay. Thank you so much.